This is the first of the Love Fall Art event videos at the Mary Atelier. For fun, I want to experiment with glass etching cream in a fine line applicator on stained glass. Heads up! I will be giving away another set of fine line applicators in my last Love Fall Art video. The more of my Love Fall Art videos that you view and comment on, the more chances you will have to win the fine line applicator set. So be sure to check back daily, view, comment, and subscribe. Hi there. For my Love Fall Art, for the first video, I'm going to do an experiment with some glass etching cream. My fine liner, I'm using a standard 18 gauge tip. I purchased it at Hobby Lobby for five bucks. Probably used my coupon on it, so I got it a little bit cheaper. This is the etching cream. And if you watched my videos several weeks ago, I had showed where a neighbor of mine had given me some stained glass. And these are some scrap pieces. I washed them and I put painter's tape around the edges just to protect my fingers from the sharp edges. I have several colors and I like this as another reddish color. This kind of has a ripple design, a ripple to it. I do not think this is pure colored glass and that's why I'm wondering how the etching cream is going to work on there because as I was putting this tape on I could see clear glass around the edges so I'm not sure how this is going to work. This is a pretty fall color. I'm just going to experiment with these. For my etching cream, they advise you to use rubber gloves. So I have this pair, I think these are more latex gloves, but I think they'll work. And I have off over to my side over here, I have a pan of water, you can't see that. And then I have another pan down below on my chair that you can't see. They usually advise to use a stencil on these, but since these are scrap pieces and I want to use my fine liner, I am not going to use a stencil. I'm going to freehand my etching on these glass pieces and see how it works. Now, why am I doing this? Am I planning on using these for anything specific? No. <laughs> I am doing this merely as an experiment mostly to see if I can etch on this stained glass. I know that I can etch on pure glass, but if I can etch on stained glass, that would be nice too. And these are just odd pieces. They might make little, if once they have that tape around there, they might make nice little window charms. Or I'm not sure I'd use them for a journal charm because glass is fragile and breakable. So the first thing I'm going to do, they advise caution in working with this. I do have glasses on. I have a closed, wooden clothespin that I broke. And I'm going to try, hopefully, to pour my, to pour this. I'm not sure how liquidy it is. Okay, it is just about full. I'm going to do it one more time because I want to say that if you get a, uh, some of this caught in the neck of the bottle, let's fill it up. The best way to get it down into the bottle is to tap that bottle up and down a couple times and that will allow that medium to fall into the bottle. Okay, what I have here is a fine line applicator bottle filled with Armor Etch glass etching cream. You saw me fill that bottle. That was fun, wasn't it? Most of the glass etching videos that I've watched, 
will advise you to clean your glass with alcohol. Make sure it's nice and clean. I'm just using a baby wipe. They use, they advise using a cotton cloth, but since these are samples and I really don't care, I just want to see how how it will etch on the glass. I'm just kind of this glass is distressed <laughs> to say the least I can see there's a bubble in there so I do not know how this is going to etch on these stained glass pieces that's why I'm trying it now I'm just going to freehand it and since it's fall I thought I would do some some leaves and I have no idea how this is going to work we'll find out together to set for some minutes and I'm going to try another piece. I'm going to try this this larger piece and see if I can't just do a this is a red Now you do have to keep a firm pressure on here to keep that liquid flowing through the nozzle. I can really feel the pressure on my thumb. I like that. Well, I wonder how it'll turn out. If they don't turn out on the stained glass, I'll try one on clear glass. I'm just going to put it aside. of water and I have no idea how this is going to go because they recommend see usually these have a stencil on, or a stencil on them I'm just going to dip it in water and wash it off other things that I want to show you look I'm getting a hole in my glove <laughs> but the other things that I want to show you is I have some frosted memory glass and some gallery glass now the frosted glass has sort of a slight frost to it but I want to see how that etch works on it the gallery glass is a plastic 
not a glass. It has a plastic backing on it that you can pull. I'll finish pulling that off when I do the design. I want to see how I'm using Armor Etch in my fine line bottle. And I want to see how these etch. One last thing I'm going to do, and I just have this jar. I sort of wiped it off with the baby wipe. I'm not saying that it's totally clean, but I am going to etch on some glass. I'm not going to use a stencil. I'm just going to freehand it. And I think I'll just freehand some flowers. We'll call them fall, fall flowers. the leaf design. I don't see where it etched it any. It tried. Okay, I'm going to wash off the bottle here. my ot light here. I want to try to show you using my ot light these pieces and I'm hoping that it'll show them up. I have to figure out how to do this. See that bit etched? No, I don't want to blind you. It shows best that way. But you see the real pretty red color of it. This one etched. I like this one, some fall leaf. I'd call this one a success. I really like how that etched. And I like this one. This one etched really nice. But this is on the stained glass. This is not on this is not on clear glass. I think it's best this way. And the little pumpkin, he's kinda cute. He's kinda silly. But he's fall. And then this, I like this, it turned out really nice. I'm just hoping you can see it as well as I can. A 
little pumpkin guy. And these flowers turned out really nice. So yes, I think you can etch with the fine liner. It takes some determination. And just keep in mind this is all freehand. And I was just experimenting. Just seeing what I could do. I did not use a stencil with this at all. So thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next page. Thank you.